Welcome, I'm Sandy Atkinson, your hostess for Country Basket Weaving. Today we're going to be working on fancy handles. The first one we're going to do is going to be a handle with, it's a wrap handle with a colored insert. It's quite, really quite easy to do. You're going to have your basket ready to go up to the rim, but don't put the rim on. Then you're going to take either quarter inch flat or quarter inch flat oval, have it soaking, and have this soaking good because we're going to be turning it a lot. We're going to start on this handle here. This is just a piece of color, reed, dyed reed. I'm going to start it down here and kind of tuck it under the first row of weaving. Make sure I have enough length to be able to tuck under the other side and the weaving there. Taking your piece of quarter inch, we're going to lay it with the right side facing the basket and do here what I call a miter, which is a turn. And then that is going to bring out your right side. Now I know you have a long piece to work with, but we really need that in order to get all the way to the other side of the basket. And we're just going to do some wraps. I usually do about two inches of wraps. Make sure they butt up to each other. Don't let gaps in between. Okay, this piece of reed is really splitting on me. Can you see this in here? I've got lots of hairs and lots of splitting, so I'm going to take it and get a new piece. If you have a piece like this, don't throw it away. We can always find a place to use it again. This looks like a much better piece here. Okay, let's do this wrap again. Tuck my colors in there. The right side faces the basket. Bring it around so the right side is now on the outside. And let's do our wrap. And again, make sure that they butt up to each other. We don't want any gaps in between. Some of these hairs, this one's a little hairy too, but we can go back and trim some of those off. About two inches of wraps. Push them down if you need to. Do about two more here. And then the pattern I've chosen for this is over three, under three, working with our colored reed. But there are lots of other patterns. You can just make up one on your own. Over one, under one, over one, under two or something. Okay. Now before I'm going to start my pattern, I'm going to take a pencil and come over here and kind of eyeball the height. So I have, I've got about two, a little over two inches here. Kind of eyeball my height over here and put a mark so that I know I need to go back to my wraps at that point. Now the pattern we're going to do is over three, under three. We're going to come in here and lift up our dyed reed, put our wrapping reed underneath for three times. Make sure it's centered, kind of bring it over centered if you need to. Now we're going to wrap it three times on the top. It's a very simple pattern. Then the next time you're going to pick up the colors read and wrap it three times under. I'm going to clamp it there. This one we've already got our pattern established. Isn't that a pretty handle? Okay, I don't have enough reed to continue here, so what I'm going to do is take out a new piece and show you how to add a weaver if you should run out. You're going to turn it, we're going to do our work on the inside of the basket. Let me prop this up with my towel so you can see it a little better. I'm going to start my new weaver to the right of my handle. And I'm going to wrap over. Then I'm going to do a miter with my old piece. I can kind of get it there so you can see it. I've done a miter with my old piece. 
miter my new piece so that my right side is out. They should join each other there. My new piece is going to catch that tail when I wrap and then I'm going to keep right on going. Do you see that miter in there? Okay, then we're going to keep right on wrapping this. I'm at my two inch point on this side. So now I'm going back to my solid wrap. Make sure they butt up to each other. We'll finish this up quickly and I'll show you how to end it. This ending is actually going to be the same ending that we did in our first program with the envelope basket. But to refresh your memory, we'll go ahead and do it again. Wrap it as far as you can go. And that's just about it right there. I've got too much length here, so give my, I'm going to give myself about six to eight inches. Cut off this excess. Come in here and loosen this up for about four rows. This is kind of a wide handle, so I'm going to have to give myself more room. There's four rows. Now, give this a yank. Come back and tighten this up, working with your fingers. Come up here and give this a yank and pull it up. Kind of hide those ends. Bring this up. Give this a clip here, cutting it just as close as you can. Then you finished your wrap. When you put on your rim, which is the last thing you do, that's going to cover up this area in here that you worked on. That's our colored handle insert. And again, you can do different colors on there. The next one we're going to be working on is our braided handle. It's a much more difficult to do, but I'm sure you can get to it. You're going to need one long piece of cane. This has been done in quarter inch before, but quarter inch flat reed, but it's just not as pretty. The cane really makes it pretty. You're going to need one long piece. So pick out the longest piece you can find in your hank, and you're going to need another long piece that you're going to cut in half. You're also going to need a piece that will go around the length of your handle, which is, well, let's just make one. Okay, this is going to face my handle. I want the right side facing out. I'm going to clip it on the handle. Taking my long piece of caning with my right side facing the handle, doing my miter again, we're going to wrap. And we need to do about a two inch wrap again because I have such a long handle here. Catching that tail as I do the wraps, make sure that they're butting up to each other. And again, I know these are long pieces. It's really best if you can choose a long piece and do the handle in one piece rather than trying to add a piece. do one more wrap here and then we'll start our pattern. Okay, now we'll start our pattern. I need to take these clips off. Having a loose piece, take one of the pieces that I cut in half. We're going to insert it underneath the center strip that we put in. Give it a pull so that we bring it up. So these pieces here are about even, okay, and do a wrap. Now there's a lot to hang on to when you do this, so watch closely. With my finger I'm going to be holding on to my wrapping piece here. So I'm going to hold that in the back with one of my fingers. Taking my next half size piece, I'm going to insert that down. Same way I did before. Remember there's a wrap between them. Draw this up. Again, we're going to center it. Okay. And do a wrap. Now, always starting from the left side. 
pull this wrap through. Always starting from the left side, I'm going to come down here and pick up this piece. Now remember, the right side is facing the handle. Pick up the one from the left, bring it around, insert it underneath our center piece of caning, and pull it tight. Then come to the right, pick the piece up, bring it around, make sure the caning now is on the outside, that this is the right side of the caning, and give it a pull. Okay, they should be approximately the same height, one on top of the other, and do a wrap with the piece behind it. Hold the wrap with your hand, your fingers, come over here to the right. It's the very same pattern. You're always picking up the two bottom pieces. Pick up the one on the left, go under the center insert, and pull it tight. Don't let go of this wrap here. Come and get the one on the right. Loop it around under the handle, that center insert. Pull it tight, do some adjusting. Come back here, grab your wrap, and do a wrap. You always have to do a wrap between each of your, your looping over pieces here. Come down here one more time. Come down here, pick this up, always from the left, underneath your handle insert. Come to the right, get the one on the right, always the two on the bottom. Bring that piece around. When you bring it around this way, you're back and you have the, the wrong side facing you again. Come in here and do a wrap. Okay, right here it is. That could get away from you. Just in case you don't have that, we'll do it one more time. Okay, bottom pieces. This needs some adjusting. Pick up the one from the left, circle it around under that center piece. Make sure it's the same height so we have a nice even braid in here. Pick up the one down here on the bottom right and again bring that one around. And don't forget to come back here, pick up your wrapping piece, and do a wrap. Okay. Let's go ahead and clamp this out. And I have another one started. Let me show you how we're going to end this. This one I've gone down. Got this one about halfway done. Now I'll be working on this side of the basket. I'm going to do the same pattern. Here's my long piece here, that's my back wrap. Come in here, we'll do another one up here. Always picking up the one from the left on the bottom. Go underneath. Make sure this is my wrong side that's out. Pick up the one from the right. Bring that one under. Go back in the back and pick up your wrap piece and do a wrap. Now this time we're going to end this, and by ending it, we're going to pick up the one on the bottom, the very same thing, always to the left. We're going to tuck it underneath our insert, bring it down here, and give it a clip. Okay? Save this piece of caning. We can use it for some other basket. Bring the one on the right, always following the same pattern. Go under it and give it a clip off over here. If you can, kind of stagger your different lengths so you don't have them ending all in the same spot and do a wrap. Always have to do a wrap. Come back here, pick up the one on the bottom left. There's only two left now. holding that bottom wrap here so I don't lose it. I'm going to come in here and make these at different lengths again. Come here and get the right one.
cut it off and give it a little more length so we stagger our lengths. Oh, I'm coming undone here. Slip that back in there. Just take your time. You won't be rushed. And do a wrap. Now we want to, when we finish, we want to be sure and catch all these tails in. And we're going to finish wrapping this out. Again, butting it close together. Caning is really easy to work with it, and once you start working with it, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Not only the look of it, but just the feel of it. It's kind of like the Cadillac of weaving supplies. And it adds such a richness to the baskets. It will take a stain. It won't stain near as dark as your reed will. And sometimes I'll put a stain on it and then I'll go back and I'll wipe off the stain. So it takes on just a little color, but it really stands out in a basket. So easy to work with. I use all three sizes when I weave. I use the three, the four, and the five millimeter. This one here is a five millimeter I'm working with. Okay, then you keep on going. I'm going to finish wrapping this out. And we're going to end this basket the very same way that we ended the other basket. Cut off some length here. I'm going to insert this up in here, back four rows, just like we've been doing. Have to go up here and loosen it up, pull up the tail, tighten it up, and then you finish this one. And then this one's ready to go ahead and put the rim on. By doing that, we're going to cover up all of our beginning and ending work down here, too. The next basket that we're going to show you, the handle, is a figure eight braid. It's finished on this picnic basket. We'll kind of set this aside so you can get a look at it. We're going to need two pieces of number six round reed that is going to be about the length of our handle here. We're going to insert this on one side down into a row of weaving, bring it up here, Attach it to our handle. Now this one's kind of long, so I'm going to come in here and clip this off. Insert it down in one row of weaving. Get the other piece and do the very same thing on the opposite side. Again, this one's too long. Come in here and clip it off. Stick it down in there. Okay, then get a piece. I'm using today the flat oval. It gives it a nice, neat, round effect that I really like. I'm going to come in here with the right side facing the basket and stick it down into my first row of weaving. Now, I'm afraid this tail is going to show, so I'm going to go ahead and stick it down and hide it under this row here. Then I'm going to miter this over. Go under the handle. Now I'm going to come back here and take off these clips at the top. Pull one out here. I didn't mean to do that. So I can work around these pieces. Okay, then I'm going to do a figure eight pattern here. such a long piece here to work with. Okay, then I'm going to come back here. This one's a little heavy piece of reed. It's harder to work with, so let me put some work with it here a little. Let me start this over again. It just doesn't want to bend for me, so I may have to play with it a little bit to get it to bend. I'm going, well, it's really a tough piece. Let me try the other end of it. Insert it down in here. Let's try this again. And then we're going to do our wrap. Clamp this up here. Bring it around. It's going to circle around 
the number six round is going to go in back. Draw it around here, draw it out. Come up next to the handle. Circle around the outside of the number six round. Generally, you're not this hard to start. There, I've done a circle here. You're going to come across in front of the handle at this point. Then you're going to circle in front of the handle again and go behind. Tighten this up, then bring it out on this side between the handle and the rim. Circle around, come back to the outside. Keep this pattern going. It's just a figure eight pattern, working one side back to the other side. You want to draw these in a little bit tighter. Keep it going back and forth. Okay, these needed to be drawn in a little tighter than it is in here. Let me show you the piece that we have almost finished. Got these long pieces around here. Okay, I need to do, go in one more time with this one. I'm going in here. Give it a tight pull. This is not, this one's done very nice and neatly. See how that's done? Come up here. I'm going to do one more circle around. This is going to end me up on top. Then I'm going to do just a little twist and sink this down into the weaving by the handle. And then I have finished this one. That's a very easy one to do, just time consuming. Then your, your rim will go on here and help cover up all this in here. I'd like to show you, I'd like to backtrack a little bit and show you how to add some color to one of these baskets. This one that we did right here would look really pretty with some color inserts in here. I have some light brown soaking. If I had some more of this color, I could put that in there, but I'd have to trim it down and make it the quarter inch size because that's what I've used for my weavers on the side. But to add some color in here, we're going to take this one and we're going to insert it under one of our spokes to hide it. And then it's just going to weave the same as our weaver. And to weave it in here, weave right on top of one of our weavers. Pull it through. If you can't get a hold of it, go get your needle nose pliers and come in and get it. Have it follow through. We want to end it at about the same spot on the other side. I'm going to hide it underneath this spoke over here. Okay? See how that adds some color to it? I could add another one down here. Maybe perhaps make this one a little bit shorter. And tuck it and hide it under here and just build a pattern up in here. Some other handles, this is one that I have done on a, just a plain market basket. It's the braided handle I showed you earlier. See how I've taken and I've, this is one that I stained and then wiped off the stain on. This is an elbow basket, a heart, it's sometimes called a heart wall basket or an elbow basket. And on this one I've done a little bit different pattern. We can get a close up of this. This pattern was three under and one over. So you can just really use your imagination and do all different kinds of patterns with just picking up what I've showed you today. Our next basket that we're going to be working on is our friendship basket. It's really fun. It's a quick basket. 
very basic, and I really think you're going to enjoy this one. We're going to build the handle on it, do the whole thing in our next program. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.